Coming up, zoning changes, coming events, answering your questions and more in this episode of The Monday Morning Show. Good morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Show for Monday, April 15th, 2019. My name's Peter Butler. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate everybody stopping in on a on a rainy Monday morning. Can you believe that out there? They're saying a high of 7 today. It's going to rain most of the day. Wear your slickers. Do you wear a slicker, a rain slicker, and your rain boots and all that kind of good stuff? You know, I remember when I was out in uh, uh, Burnaby, uh, in Vancouver, on course when I was in the military, and... Um, it was, it was out there in February, March time frame. And I'll tell you, it was, it was, it was so rainy out there. It was crazy, but everybody had umbrellas. I'm, I'm telling you, every like there was, there were fewer, much fewer people that did not have umbrellas than people that had umbrellas. You'd, you'd be walking down the street and everybody had umbrellas, not around here. Very few umbrellas in comparison, but of course, Vancouver gets so much rain in their winter rainy season that's for sure but yeah kind of miserable out there today so so dress warm for it today maybe you want to put on a sweater keep that uh, warmth happening but uh, a good weekend you probably saw my videos i uh, did a couple live videos when i was barbecuing there on saturday i had so much fun doing up that chicken you know and i had it all figured out how i was gonna do it you know and and the spices and i marinated the chicken and italian dressing and and uh, had it all set and then had it on for an hour opened the lid and it was really dark <laughs> i'm gonna say it was really dark but you know what it was actually the chicken was really tasty it was nice and moist inside and that dark that that black color on the outside of the chicken I guess talking to some people, they're saying that the Italian dressing, the sugar in the Italian dressing will blacken up very quickly. And so that's because honestly, you know what? The, the skin was crispy, uh, lots of spices on it. And again, the chicken was nice and moist and tender. So yeah, a really good barbecue. Had roast potatoes with potatoes and carrots and, and green pepper and onion. That was really tasty as well. And of course, my little charcuterie plate there where I had... Uh, my cheese and my pepperoni so we had a really good supper on saturday it was really nice but uh yeah so i'm looking forward to to barbecuing again real soon um yesterday i was talking with tegan and she's in the she's in the uh the the show there today the chat room today um this the the uh, sarcoidosis spaghetti fundraiser yesterday did very well lots and lots of people i'm not sure if you saw the videos or any of the pictures and for those people that were able to make it thank you so much i hope you had a really good time um it looks like it was a real success um i haven't uh, heard uh actually i've heard from tegan but i haven't heard uh, in terms of number of people i'd like to hear how many people what the count was it'd be interesting to find out so so congratulations to tegan and her and her, her amazing team for pulling off another successful fundraising dinner there yesterday at the mason's lodge but uh I was actually at my my aunt's birthday, my aunt Pat, uh, my dad's uh, sister. Um, uh, it was her birthday over the weekend, and so we all went to uh, oh for supper for supper at, in, in Hamilton there at the uh, the Mandarin. And oh my goodness, there had to have been forty people there. It was just amazing to see so many people there to celebrate my aunt's birthday. So so that was a really good time as well. A great weekend overall. Now we're into it in the week, and it's a Monday morning with rain. So. Let's get right into the show this morning. I've got a couple of things I want to talk about, but we'll start off with this. James McCarthy reporting. For up to the minute reports, stay tuned to this station. Now the news. In the news, brought to you by Royal LePage Brown Realty for all your real estate needs in and around Norfolk County. So I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but something that they're discussing, it's coming up, um, looking at zoning changes for agricultural zoning. So zoning, of course, the zoning is a bylaw. The zoning bylaw dictates what you can and cannot do on your property, the usage, uses for your property. For example, if you have a, a, a um, R1, a, a property that's zoned R1, residential one, um, that property, for example, can't have a duplex on it or a triplex. That's for a single family residential home. Uh, you can't put a store on there. You can't put a farm on that property. So the zoning dictates what the what the property can be used for. It also dictates the setbacks in terms of 
of where the house can sit on that property, okay? So that's a, a residential zoning. Of course, there's commercial zoning as, a, as well. And commercial zoning, again, dictates what can be the, the property can be used for. Same with agricultural zoning. So they're looking at, the, the county's looking at amending the agricultural zoning bylaw. They're looking at diversifying some of the uses for agricultural zoning. Um, in particular, of course, cannabis. Cannabis is something that they're looking at at, a, at bringing in and allowing in agricultural zones. There's, I believe at the current, right now, um, anyone that wants to grow cannabis has to apply for a special permit, a special amendment to an exception to the zoning by a lot. They're looking at, the county's gonna look at amending that <clears throat> to allow for cannabis growth um, on the agricultural zones. They're also gonna look at opening up other uses as well in terms of Airbnbs um, and also for breweries. I mean, we're seeing a lot more of the, of the, the microbreweries, the, the wineries, stuff like that. So they're gonna open up and try to, again, you know, one of the, um, the, the, the goals and the, the focuses of, of Mayor Chop and her council, she said that we're, instead of trying to come up with reasons why people can't do things, let's find reasons why people can do things. Let's not stop people from, from building business and from succeeding. So, so it's, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear they're looking into this. <clears throat> I would caution though, I, I don't wanna see a loss of farmland um, that happens too often. And uh, um, you know, the farmers, they get such a bad shake, I'll be honest with you. And it's not just in our county, it's province wide, countrywide, to be honest with you. But um, I'm excited to see what they're gonna, what's gonna come from these talks and these decisions. So stay tuned for that. Um, that is definitely gonna come up. So. Very cool. Also, um, a couple things that are coming up, speaking of coming up, uh, Port Dover Lions Silver Lake Market. Don't forget that. I know that yeah, there's been some great stuff happening down there. Mm. Ty Kobe Tea and Coffee is now down at the Port Dover Lions Silver Lake Market. Now, it's located on St. Patrick Street. I'm not sure if you know where that is. If you think of Main Street, you had East, you, you have St. Andrew Street, and then St. Patrick Street, back at the old Ivy's property. Head down there Saturday mornings, 8 o'clock in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Pop in there. Lots of the, the, the meat and fruit, um, vegetables, baked goods, cheese, the deli, maple syrup, Tyco, BT and coffee, jams, fresh pizza. And, of course, Walt's Kitchen where you can get a great breakfast sandwich and free coffee. I'm going to say that again, free coffee. you got to pop down there Saturday mornings. Great way to start your weekend. Popping down to the Port Dover Lion Silver Lake Market. The Port Dover Perch Derby is coming up. It's coming up um, April 26th until May 11th. Now, that's next Friday is the cast-off party. You pop into, into probably, I think the Stonies, I think Stonies have, um, Stonies Hardware have, the, uh, have the, um, the entry forms. Get your entry form, get signed up, get down there, do some fishing, catch a tagged perch, win $1,000. What a great deal. So that's coming up April 26th to May 11th. Also, the 67th annual Port Dover Lions Fish Fry, but not a stag. So again, it's not a stag. It is a fish fry and dance. We're getting a really good time. Saturday, June 8th. You need to get your tickets quickly. You can get them online or at Port Dover Jewelry and Gifts right here on Main Street in Port Dover. Uh, so, so Saturday, June 8th, 6 until 1 in the morning, 6 p.m. to 1 in the morning. All you can eat, knuckles, fish. Uh, perch dinner, 6 until 8, chicken, salads, fries, also available on the menu. And then 8.30, what they call the best party band in Ontario takes the stage. 11-piece, 905 band, playing a huge selection of classic rock hits. So you got to get your tickets for that as well. It's going to be a really good time. Uh, and, and all the money, all the proceeds from these events with the Port Dover Lions goes right back into Port Dover. Honestly, Port Dover Lions have been such a huge supporter um, of Port Dover for so many years. You know, it's a great organization that do a lot of great stuff for Port, Port Dover. We need to support them in this. So very, very cool. That's awesome. Mark your calendar with those events. Well, let's move on to this. Captain, incoming message. Yeah, so as you know, I'm a realtor. I'm a broker with Royal LePage Brown Realty. Our, our office is right down here, right downtown Port Dover, across from the Royal Bank. Um, and I answer real estate questions here on the show. If you have a question, by all means, send it in. RealtorPeterButler at gmail.com. Happy to answer any questions you might have. Today, I want to talk to you about inspections. Now, I had an inspection over the weekend that I attended. Um, and you know what? It actually went very well. It was a great inspection. But once in a while, 
things come up in an inspection. There may be, there may be something minor, like the home inspector may say, you know what, there are no, uh, some of these electrical outlets don't have cover plates. You need to get those replaced. You want to cover those up because it's for your own safety. You don't want to be electrocuted. Now, elect electrical um, electrical cover plates are 40 cents, 50 cents, m maybe a dollar, not even that much. Doesn't take much. Go to the store, hardware store, pick them up, get them replaced. Minor repair, not a lot of money. Sometimes it's a bigger problem. Sometimes you could have find, for example, you could find something more serious, for example, mold in the attic, for example. Maybe you find that a floor joist in the basement, for some reason the sellers cut into the floor joist to allow a ductwork to come through. Well, now that floor joist has lost integrity and that becomes a weak point in the floor. So these types of things are a little more expensive to repair. So there's a couple options as a buyer that you have, of course. The buyer has the option, of course, you always have the, the, the I always say you have three options, accept, reject, or counter. So you can accept the problem, going back to the problem of the floor joist with a notch out, now it's lost its structural integrity. You can accept that and say, you know what, I'll fix that down the road on my own. You can reject it and say, you know what, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm worried about the house, I'm worried about the home. If there's a problem here, what other problems are there? I think we're gonna walk away from the deal. Or you can counter, you can maybe say to the sellers, you know what, Mr. Seller, this is, this is a problem and it needs to be repaired. I'd like you to repair this prior to closing. Or you could say, you know what, I want a, a reduction. Here's, here are two quotes to repair this issue. I'd like a price adjustment on, the, on our offer to allow for this repair. Or perhaps even something in the middle. Mr. Seller, if you pay half, I'll pay half. There's a couple options. So that's something that a professional realtor can help you through. Help you through an issue like that. Because sometimes when those things come up, tempers can flare, people get upset. We need to keep a level head to come to a, a reasonable conclusion. And that's where your professional realtor comes in. I can't encourage you enough to use a professional local realtor. So great questions. If you have any questions, send them in realtorpeterbutler at gmail.com. Happy to answer any questions you may have. If I use your question on the air, I got a great gift for you as well. So very cool. So let's move into our next little piece here, which I always enjoy. Yes, as you know, I love my movies. Now I had some great referrals for two great shows. I didn't get a chance to, to, to see them. Mary Morrison referred a great movie to me, recommended a great movie, and as did Murray McKnight. And I, I wasn't able to finish watching them. It's been a bit of a crazy week. I mean, spring's a busy time for a realtor. So, so I haven't had a chance to watch them. I'm going to. I will be on the show with those recommendations. But today, this is something I've seen before. Anyway, I, I'll get right into the clip first, and we'll talk about the movie, okay? Let's check this out. you see? Everything. That is my curse. Oh, how I've missed you, Holmes. Have you? I barely noticed your absence. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sherlock Holmes. As you know, that's obviously Sherlock Holmes. As you know, I'm sure you're aware, I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan. I have been forever. Uh, one of my my my, my uh, biggest purchases when I was a teenager, I was so excited to find, was a compendium, an entire collection of Sir, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle stories of Sherlock Holmes. So I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan. I'm also a Robert Downey Jr. fan, and that is Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Came out in 2011, part of the series. Um, great movie. I got, I got it. It's on Netflix right now, streaming on Netflix. Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law. So Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock Holmes, of course. Jude Law as Dr. Watson. And uh, Jared Harris stars as Professor Moriarty. Now, if you're a Sherlock Holmes fan, you are aware of what Reichenbach Falls are. Well, Reichenbach Falls, 
uh, is the location where Sherlock Holmes and Professor Moriarty finally finally um, met up and, and, and something happened there. I don't want to give away anything that happened at Reichenbach Falls, but it's where they have their final confrontation. So I recommend you check out this movie on Netflix. Robert Downey Jr. is an amazing actor. Um, the guy is funny. His sarcasm, his wit, his timing. He's just a great actor. He does a great job with Sherlock Holmes, as does Jude Law as his sidekick, Dr. Watson. So a very good movie. You need to check out Sherlock Holmes, The Game of Shadows on Netflix. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And actually, Rotten Tomatoes only gave it a 60% with an audience score of 77. But if you're a Sherlock Holmes fan or a Robert Downey Jr. fan at all, you're going to enjoy this movie. So I highly recommend you check out Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Thrones. Very cool. Oh, yeah, the Strand Theater. So you may have noticed as well, Tuesday night, Linda and I went to the Strand Theater and watched Shazam. Now, it, it got mixed reviews. We really enjoyed it. it. had a really good time. It is a superhero movie. Um, it's uh, a, a young fella, young young guy, teenager, young teen, um, gets endowed with the power of, of Shazam, this, um, this superhero god that has this godlike power to protect mankind. So, uh, and, of course, being a young teen in, in this, this full superhero, it's, it's quite hilarious, and it's a good movie, and we really enjoyed it. So that's actually playing at The Strand right now. So at The Strand this week is Dumbo and Shazam. Check that out in Simcoe. Sure to have a good time. Go on Tuesday nights. I think it's $5 a person. Go to the movies for five dollars a person. Grab some, grab some popcorn and some pop, and have a really good, really good evening. So, listen, that's the show today. A little bit longer. Sorry it went so long. I actually signed on a little late, but uh, I, I hope you have a great week. I know I will. Try to stay dry today. Keep smiling, and we'll talk to you real soon. Take care.